Ah, uh, get I. What's cracking? Uh, it's Friday morning, or well, Friday over now. Um, about one o'clock. And uh, this morning I went down and got my antipsychotic needle. Got to get one in the arse every uh, three weeks. Uh, apparently it keeps me fucking grounded or sane. But uh, I don't think it does jack shit. Except probably give me fucking cancer, man. Quick, have another drag. I couldn't give a fuck if I got lung cancer, man, or fucking they give me the morphine and I'll be happy. Morphine for the lung pain. But I'll still smoke while I'm fucking sucking on oxygen. Nothing's going to stop me from smoking, man. I used it in a combat zone to relax, and uh, I think it keeps a combat zone at bay while I'm a civilian. So uh, it keeps me very grounded. But uh, right, uh, new forms of energy. Now, I do these videos, and I do a lot of my videos for the aliens, right, to attract their attention. Because uh, uh, if you're in with the aliens, man, you're in with a good crew. It's always good to know a couple of aliens in your lifetime. But um, right, oh, this is how you make electricity pretty easily, right? The only thing it's going to cost you is uh, something to spin the magnet with. So um, it's going to cost you a bit of electricity to do it, but I think the output is more than the input, so you're creating electricity. But you make a triangular magnet, cut the north-south bar magnet on an angle from north to south and from top left to bottom right, and then you turn the magnet around with both pointy ends and glue them together. Now you do this three times, then a bit of cutting at the bottoms, bottoms of them, and join them and make create a triangle. Then uh, you've got six poles, uh, three north, three south, and you coat this magnet in gold, right? And um, then you spin this magnet in gold really fast, and um, the refracting magnetic, um, the magnetics of the six poles there, uh, spinning around will create like a magnetic vortex and uh, electricity is created by magnetism waving through electrical coils or copper coils and uh, that's how it creates electricity. So the gold will act as a, uh, as a um, copper coil and uh, through the gold, the magnetism will uh, create electricity. That's one way of doing it. So you just get a big whole lot of fucking magnets, uh, triangular magnets. You can even put topaz in the end of them if you really want to be tricky and uh, shove them up a big copper pipe and um, spin these triangles really fast in the copper pipe and uh, electrocute the copper pipe and uh, you'll uh, get more power out of the electricity that you're putting in. It'll be a super battery and like a mini generator and uh, yeah, that's all. You only got to pay for spinning the, um, spinning the wheels and uh, the electrocuting the uh, copper coil. You could use gold too. Gold would be better than copper. But, um, yeah, because if you've got about five triangles in this circ in this um, tube, in this copper or golden tube that you're electrocuting, um, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, it'll uh, make a lot of electricity come out. Another way of making electricity, if you bang a piece of metal red hot, right, like to make a sword or something, The banging makes the um, piece of steel magnetic. So what you do is you get a piece of steel, heat the bastard up red hot, put a uh, copper coil around one end, keep one end red hot, and then start banging it, man. You watch how much electricity you fucking get out of that. So, uh, yeah, that's another way of doing it. Or you uh, go and get wool off a sheep, uh, make it six metres wide, 
by us have a circumference of about a metre across and uh, sew all the wool together. Then you go and get all the amber you can find, crystal, and um, put it, attach it to a um, to a copper tube, and um, put the amber all over the copper tube, and then stick the wool over the amber on the copper tube, and uh, spin the wool really fast, man. Because that makes electricity too. So you got to make more electricity than um, than spinning the wool machine does, which you will. And you can also probably electrify or throw magnets in there as well, and um, that'll you'll be able to generate even more electricity. So yeah, but there there are a couple of ways of making um, cheap electricity, and we and I've been a soldier, so. And all our wars were all over being energy, so. So fuck them, man. We got ways around it, but they usually take you out for creating shit like this, but uh, if they take me out, they'll be doing me a favour. Because I'm fucking over it, man. I've lived a long time, 49 years. And I go to bed at five o'clock every day. I check out because uh, seven in the morning till five in the arvo is enough for me, enough for any man to handle. So fucking, I check out at five. And uh, yeah, then I have my nightmares, but um, I deal with them every night. But um, yeah, yeah. The, the reason why I can. Uh, create such mad fucking machines is um is um pretty much my trauma from my PTSD a traumatized mind seems to um keep you on the level a bit more and you, you notice shit a bit more and you remember stuff a lot more because you're in in survival mode so you're um when you read shit you remember it or if you watch a doco you'll remember everything and uh, yeah, you throw a bit of um, a bit of um, a bit of nous with this shit, and you can really come up with some good stuff. They should have me working in the CSIRO for Australia, and uh, and uh, back in the uh, military, designing uh, weapons and uh, weapon systems, and uh, designing our whole future for this. Uh, for Australia, that's what they should be doing. But um, but uh, if I get there, I get there. All I can do is make tacos, and hopefully, someone with half a brain goes shipping. I'll tell you a joke. There's three blokes, and they're in a bar in a motel, bragging about what they do to their wives after they make love to them, and um. First one's a Yankee, goes, Hey, man, after I make love to my missus, I tickle with a three-inch feather, man, and she rises three feet off the bed. The pommy goes, Oh, that's nothing, old boy. After I make love to my missus, I tickle her with a two-inch feather, and she rises six feet off the bed. And the Aussie goes, oh, that's nothing, fellas. After I shag my missus, I wipe me dick on the curtains and she hits the roof. You like that one? Okay, guys. Uh, just telling you how to make energy without us having to do battle, man. I'm sick of war. It's all over fucking oil and electricity, pretty much. Coal. That's all like gas. But we don't need that shit. We just gotta stick on our fucking nous. And uh, yeah. Yeah, you just make a triangular magnet, stick um, coat it in gold and spin the bastard real fast, makes electricity. It's an easy generator to make. And um Yeah, yeah. Make fucking three together on sitting on a platform over a big triangular magnet. Uh, another big triangular magnet and electrify the magnet. A big triangle magnet and spin three above it and one above the three. 
There's a lot of fucking power there, man. You'll be able to do a whole city. The whole city, man. Now, I come a bearing gifts. So hopefully this gets in the right hands. Because, um, yeah, to get, to get, to get the bloody shit we need for the future, um, we've got it with multimedia, you've got to be smart, so this is what I do, I, um, I use the computer to make my videos, every day I'll do a document on what I'm up to and, uh, where my mind's at, and, uh, I put it on, um, YouTube and, um, Facebook, and, um, yeah, the CSIRO and the ASIO and the feds and fucking all the hierarchy of the world study the web looking for revolution, pretty much. And, um, yeah, yeah, and uh, revolution's what it's all about. So if I, if I catch their eye and become a target, I don't give a fuck because I'm not worried about shit because... Um, I'm actually, um, I'm pretty protected, man, so I'm right. But, um, yeah, I just try and help the bastards, and then if they, the aliens want to contact me, all they got to do is knock on me door and come in for a beer, man, beer and a reefer, and then uh, give us the technology and I'll give you some more of ours, man. But, um, that's... Yeah, they're pretty much sucking us for info. That's why they haven't invaded yet. We could have been invaded a long time ago. There must be a peace treaty signed or someone's protecting us or something because, um, yeah, we could have been taken over twofold, man. But um, maybe they are taking us over with TV and frequencies and all that shit. But um, I believe the grey aliens are definitely involved. I think they um they um run with conscious frequency and they've got um they've got their um little frequency running around the earth and uh the frequency goes into our brains and is consciousness and they monitor consciousness actually because they're uh, looking for prophecies that they've got amongst the uh, alien people that come from the human race so um yeah, yeah, so they've got prophecies to uh, look for, pretty 